Hi everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small and today's What's on the Table we're going to be taking a look at some units I built up from that German starter box. This is the uh, release that came out with the Bagration, German Bagration. It's a, a tank hunter comp group and it's got some cool stuff in it that um, hasn't been released yet or at least uh, not in plastic. So. I wanted to get it built so we could include it in some upcoming battle reports, at least some units. So these were the ones I started with. I started with the um, Whirlwinds and um, the Hetzers. I'm probably going to build the Panzer 470s as well, uh, at least initially. I don't, I'm not going to build the other stuff right away because we've, we've got that. Um, it's no secret on the channel that the uh, German army that we use, neither Jake nor I built uh, the majority of that. That was from our friend uh, Jacob, who you've seen probably in several battle reports. Um, so we primarily use his collection of Germans. Uh, you can tell because most of his Germans have the Sil4, um, like camo, the, the leaves and whatnot uh, attached to them. Um, he paints Germans much better than I do. I wanted to get these knocked out pretty quick, but realize that they've got camo, so no matter what I do, they're going to take some time. Um, but I thought they, uh, you know, I thought it turned out good for what it is, um, particularly at miniature level. I did these probably in about a, a day, um, not uh, too long. So this is that kind of P dot tank hunter camo which is a little bit different from the stripies. I kind of like how these guys turned out. I did put some dirt and some weathering but really with this camouflage it, it just kind of all disappears. The box set comes with three um, of these guys and you see four on your table so you might be asking what's up John. Well one of these is my um, 3D printed one and uh, so I decided to paint one of those at the same time one so I'd have a unit of four and two to just kind of see what they look like and you'll notice from this distance the one that it is is kind of hard to, to tell but um, this is the 3D printed one and um, it, it doesn't have quite the same amount of detail as the Battlefront ones and um, the scale that I printed this out with is slightly smaller but particularly at uh, tabletop distance. Again, you're, you're not going to be able to tell. Um, so I, I was very pleased with, uh, for the amount of effort put in, uh, how these turned out. I think they're going to do quite well. I don't know how well they'll do on the battlefield. I'm going to probably play with these guys a little bit, and then they're going to be a subject of a, a unit overview for Flames of War coming up soon. So this was uh, the main thing. Like I said, it took about a day to knock them out. Um, then I've also been working more on the American Civil War. Uh, basically, I painted up another uh, two sprues, and each sprue is basically a regiment. So this tub is what I'm using for my, uh, my basing. I've got some sand here from the beach, and uh, uh, basically I'm sanding the bases, then uh, painting them with uh, contrast agros dunes which I'm doing now for almost all of my basing and then uh, putting some um, static grass and whatnot on there. As a final this is kinda what what I'm going for. Uh, so that that uh, project continues. I haven't built any Confederates yet. I've been focusing mainly on the Union. Uh, the last thing I did was I got a box from Litgo. This was something I ordered. Litgo does acrylic tokens and whatnot. Um, and I ordered, oh, this is my note, some bases for um, Black Seas. And basically they do them in uh, lots of 10. They'll cut them to whatever dimension you want. So I have some for every size, you know, down to little brigs to first rates. Um, each size you have to do at least 10, so I probably have way too many of certain, but they're not uh, too pricey. And I'm really thinking bases are gonna uh, help us. And really, it, I just got some clear square 
acrylic and um, I don't know if this is the right one but basically like that so I realize looking at it now I think this third rate is probably the, the fattest of the ships uh, but it will definitely help play once it's glued on there so all right guys there you go that's what's on the table this week we've got lots of Germans to add to our battle reports we've got some Black Seas basing and we've got American Civil War continuing I hope you enjoyed this if you did please do consider giving us a like and subscribe uh, those always help us out and help support the channel also let me know down in the comments below what you guys think um, also if you like our Flames of War content please do check out our Patreon where patrons receive access to an exclusive video battle report every month so there you go guys thanks for watching and keep on working